And so all the numbers that I spat out, the 110 meetings, the 72 uh, victories that we've had over them, the 45, 43 victories we've had here, I mean, I want that to resonate in their minds because we're the flagship university. This is our state. UNM head coach Danny Gonzalez stirring the pot ahead of the Rio Grande rivalry. His comments only got better from there. I'll have more in just a bit. But the Aggies aren't a bunch of pushovers. They're looking to pull off the upset and get their first win of the season. NMSU currently 0-2, but a much better showing in that loss against San Diego State on Saturday. The Aggies led 10-0 at the half, but in the second, the Aztecs' offense came alive while NMSU's offense was held scoreless. Meantime, the Lobos are coming off their season opening win against Houston Baptist. They're the favorite to win in this game but in a rivalry game all bets are off Benson pressured Benson dropped the guys like for us to win we're gonna have to take a big step forward but anytime you're playing an in-state rivalry game it's it's special it's more special than you know like a UTEP deal because that's that's not an in-state deal even though we're close together the, the in-state games are always have more weight to them so it, it's a big game we're hungry I mean to be honest we're just like we're pissed off to get a win and I think we're gonna come come this weekend and play angry because we know what we're capable of. We just need to play four quarters of that. The Aggies are also battling some key injuries today. Coach Martin confirmed star wide receiver Dominic Jacinto is out for the remainder of the season with a broken arm. The injury happened late in the second quarter in that game against San Diego State. Jacinto is a transfer from Missouri and was establishing himself as the go-to receiver for the Aggies this season. Well, for New Mexico head coach Danny Gonzalez, the rivalry runs deep. Gonzalez grew up in Albuquerque and played football for the Lobos. During today's news conference, Gonzalez recalled being 16 years old, attending the 1992 NCAA tournament game between NMSU and UCLA at the pit in Albuquerque. I'm, I'm coming to the game excited to see UCLA whoop on them. Well, there was probably about 17,000 people in there that were feeling the other way. That New Mexico State, that we were cheering for New Mexico State. That bothered me. This is our building. This is our home. We don't, we don't cheer for those guys. My dad was cheering for him. I wanted to kick him a couple times. I'm like, man, th what are you doing? Th this, is, this is our place. That, that, that's how much this is to me. I mean, that, that, I don't want them to win. I don't. And, 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 okay, they're from New Mexico. Great. Guess what? We're the flagship university in this place. Aggies and Lobos kick off Saturday at 5 p.m. in Albuquerque.